Innovation School is an intensive program designed to start your maker journey. People from all different backgrounds come together and make their ideas happen. Innovation School is a selective application-based program co-certified by UNESCO and Makers Asylum. At Innovation School, we're looking at people who are excited by technology and how to use that to be able to solve problems for their local communities. The first part of the program is designed to help you build fundamental technology skills in the areas of hardware design and programming. We send you a box of really exciting hardware which includes drones, virtual reality gear, IoT, electronics and robotics through which you're able to build six specific projects in the first part of the program to learn about these skills. This part of the program is also done remotely and one is to one in a personalized format so that you're able to learn this from the comfort of your home. So I've learned how to solder and I've learned a lot of new things that I've never even thought of before. So I didn't even know what goes behind making like a device and now that I come to think of it, a lot goes behind making a device. Something that was most fascinating was I made a robot. That was my favourite part of the entire course. I made it dance a little bit, I made it walk, sing and that was extremely fascinating to me. In the second part of the program, you can come down for a physical residency for about a week to our space in Goa or you can also access the same via an online residency. We equip you with tools, technology, a community of mentors and an environment where you can safely experiment. It teaches a student to take an idea from the time they think of it all the way to its planning, creating and implementing stages. So you actually end up with a finished product. The general atmosphere over here is very motivating. It makes me feel like I can do this. So many mentors who I can just go to with any question, I can get answers to. And of course, the equipment has definitely helped my project come together much faster than it would back home. Working with devices like the laser cutting machine and the 3D printing device, these devices which are not available at normal setups or at home, gave me more motivation to work towards the project as it intrigued me about how to use it and how I can better the project using these devices. Once you're done with prototyping of an idea at the residency, you also have a year-long access to the team at Makers Asylum and the global mentors to keep iterating on your designs and your solutions and documenting it really well. I suppose this is the only program of its type that at least I've come across in India which provides a complete pre-engineering exposure to children and allows them to understand whether engineering is indeed for them. If you think you might want to be a designer or you might want to be an engineer, this is the perfect program for you. It's helped me realize that engineering is really what I want to do and not just something I'm doing because I don't want to do medicine. It's something I am really passionate about and uh, I think Makers has definitely helped me uh, come to this conclusion. This is more of an engineering base, but I don't think I want to do like hardware engineering, but I think it's important to have the knowledge of it if you want to even do software. Definitely believe working with Makers Asylum will help me in the future and help me in creating better projects in the future. And I definitely like to recommend it to how many other people I can. Not only do they give them skills and tools to make things, they also teach them how to identify and solve problems using their hands. Unless and until you make something, you feel unqualified to do that. And the only way to get that unqualified feeling out is to just get your hands dirty and build something. This is my project, I call it Identify. Essentially, it's a cap that contains face recognition. It matches our face to a known database of um, faces. And it says a lovely name because there's a speaker as well in the cap. I call this Chat Iron. It saves electricity while charging phones, it increases safety while phone charging and it also conserves battery life of a phone. So my, I have an aunt who works in a, a school where there are a lot of autistic children. They get panic attacks really often but they don't know how to express themselves. So if we could somehow track their pulse rate um, and get an idea of their panic of meltdowns before they, they actually happen, it could really have help the caretakers. So I've been trying to build that. My grandfather has always had this sort of issue called postural hypotension where he suddenly stands up from the bed, he feels dizzy, his blood pressure drops and he may faint. And that's when I came up with my passion project which is um, an automatic compression belt. We're going to have pillow sensors which sense when a person is off the pillow, um, when he's getting up, the pressure drops. And that sends a signal to compress the belt for three to four minutes 
which will stabilize your blood pressure and you can continue with your work. The project is basically built for people with tracheostomy. A tracheostomy is a pipe that goes through your throat to provide oxygen to the body. Example for COVID patients. So my project is for patients like these who have a tracheostomy cannot communicate with their doctors and their family members easily. And through my project, from a push of a button, they can communicate what they want to the doctor and their family members.